How to convert Figma design to HTML and CSS for beginners 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you can convert your Figma designs to HTML or CSS, you know, because there's a lot of people that are into, you know, the coding bit and uh, they require to, you know, switch their Figma design, you know, and this could also help in you, your projects or something like that. Like, let's say someone has asked you to uh, basically uh, make them a good website using HTML and CSS, but you don't really know how to do that. So how are you going to do it? You're going to do it by using Figma. So create a design on Figma that you like. Okay. And once you've created that design, you're going to follow my steps. Okay. We're going to use a few plugins. And once you use those uh, plugins, basically what's going to happen is those plugins are going to provide you with the basic code on Figma and it's going to look amazing. It's going to look great and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So to start things off, you're obviously going to come to the main Figma website, which is www.figma.com. And once you're in figma.com, obviously we're going to go ahead and start with, you know, the signing up process. We're going to go ahead and get started for free. So obviously you can either continue with Google or you can have a custom email and password. Now, obviously you don't necessarily need to follow this step, but I do this because I just prefer doing this. So basically to start things off, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a temp mail. So here I have copied my temp mail. You're going to go ahead and paste it over here. You're going to take the password. I'm going to add my own custom password as so. There we go. Agree to join Figma and create account. Now, once you create an account, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to check your inbox with the verification and confirmation code. So you're going to go ahead and verify your email address and you're going to come here and you're just going to click and verify the email. You know, pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty great stuff. Now, once you do that, it's going to bring you here into the main Figma page. OK, so welcome to Figma. Tell us a bit about yourself. You're going to tell them your name. You're going to tell them what kind of work you do. I'm going to go with the designer. Uh, they're going to ask you to invite a few people. I'm going to do that later. How will you use Figma? Uh, you know, you could do that as a freelancer. Who do you collaborate with most often? Just myself. I'm just going to go with this. Have you used Figma products before? Uh, I'm going to go with no, it's my first time. And what brings you here? Uh, you know, just checking things out. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on start for free. So I'm going to go ahead here, do this. Now, obviously there's a lot of great designs on Figma and you can also like go ahead and uh, choose some, uh, you know, custom design files. So let's say this is my design file over here where I can, you know, create a good looking design where, you know, I'm going to add some sections. So here you can see I've added a section over here. Uh, I'm going to go in components. You can browse libraries. You can add some line of text. You know, I've added this text over here, for example, make this text dark. You know, you get the basic uh, look and gist of it. There's the text. Let's make it, let's select it and make it red. Uh, so you're going to move the design down if you want to make it smaller, et cetera, et cetera. Then obviously you can add lines. You can add different uh, arrows if you want to. There's, you know, the pasting tools and all that. You can mess with those. Let's say we're done over here. You can add different components. Like, let's say I'm going to add a phone. Oh, just uh, click on phone, go on browse libraries. And, you know, you could add different styles and variables. And there's different widgets that you can add. You can uh, mess around with the designs on the left hand side. You can scale the different designs and all that. And it's uh, pretty great, easy and fun stuff to have. OK, now when it comes to converting your design like let's say this is the design okay you know just as an example obviously your design is going to be much better than this but as an example this is your design this is your basic website now to convert it what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to go in plugins and in plugins you're going to write teleport okay now once you write teleport you're going to go with this one teleport hq figma to code and we're going to click on run now, once you click on run, obviously we're just going to wait for it to load. And here we are. It has loaded and let's see what it gives us. So select an element to get started. So let's say I'm going to select that element or you can just select the whole damn thing. And there you can see you've selected it. Now what it's going to do is once you've like selected things, you can obviously change them or configure them if you want to. You can add more button tokens if you want to by going up into config. 
and you know you can add tokens you can add different buttons as you can see it could be turned into a button it could be an input it could be an svg exclude etc etc then there's different styles you know you can change the local styling you can export different things into the local styling and uh, once you know you've done all of that uh, you're gonna go into layers and you can also copy the layers into clipboard and if i open my clipboard basically it's gonna give me the whole html code okay now to implement the HTML code, obviously you're going to go here. Uh, you're going to create a text document. Okay. This is my text document over here and I'm going to paste the code that they just gave me. So obviously this is the basic token code that they have given me over here with, you know, the false elements and stuff. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on save. We're going to come here. I'm going to click on rename dot HTML and I'm going to do that. Now obviously it's going to be, you're going to save this as dot HTML file save it in the desktop make sure that the spelling is correct html and you're going to save it and there's the html file for what you just created you're going to open the basic file in your you know basic um, google or you know opera whatever you use and once you do that you're going to make sure that the What's cascading it? style sheet and everything uh works as follows when it comes to you know adding all those important things into your design so you know that is how you're basically going to copy the code and you can obviously go ahead and paste this code into you know any any coding app as well like you know you could have um visual studio it could be you know your basic um vs code it could be notepad it could be text document any of those essential things and it's really easy to add your code in them and then just implement the design so yeah if we were to go over things again just create a good account on figma create your design and once you do that you're gonna go over and move into plugins and in plugins we are gonna write teleport hq now teleport hq is a great looking plugin and you know you're just gonna run it you're basically you're gonna download it and once you download it you're gonna run it now once you run it obviously add some tokens if you want to once you've added tokens you're gonna copy all those layers into your clipboard and once those clipboard layers are copied from there on out what you're gonna do is just implement it into whatever coding file you're gonna implement it in and things should be good to go so yeah that's about it that is how you're gonna convert your figma code to html and css so uh i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this please do tell me i am always available and i will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand and uh if you have any queries regarding this video you can let me know down in the comments uh and uh, yeah uh, i guess i'll see you next time uh before signing off uh please like and subscribe to the channel and uh leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.